Hey everybody, Melissa here. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited you're all here. So we're headed towards the end of July, which means fall is just around the corner. Now, what does that mean? I'll give you just a second to think about it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, if you said beautiful fall colors, crisp, cool weather, and pumpkin spice and getting closer to Christmas, okay, that's awesome. But that's not what I'm talking about. Football season's getting ready to start. Basketball season. Your kids are going back to school. And the fall premiere of our favorite shows are coming back. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I know you're sitting there going, what is wrong with her? I was watching a tutorial about like Microsoft. What just happened? <laughs> I'll tell you what just happened. I'm going to show you how to find your favorite sports team schedule, your kid's school schedule, and your favorite show schedule and import it all into Outlook. So you have it right there at your fingertips and you know exactly what's going on with your favorite stuff. How about that? <laughs> I can't wait to show you how this works. So let's go ahead and get started. In Outlook from our online office account, we want to go to calendar and we're going to add a calendar and let's start with sports. So teams around you is like NCAA football. So here in my area, it would be the University of Kentucky Wildcats. So those are calendars that you can put into your outlook. Sports leagues are as well. We have the NBA, NFL, NHL, and MLS. So let's go to the NFL. And let's find my Green Bay Packers. There they are. And then when we X out of here, they show up over on this left-hand side right under my calendar. And there's nothing for July. But let's go to August. Now we see them show up. If we hover, we get information. If we click, we get more detailed information. If we want to change the color, we can click on these three dots and go to color and let's make it a little bit more green. It's not a dark green, but hey, it is the Green Bay Packers. So some green will work. <laughs> and now their schedule is added to our calendar. If we want to remove their schedule, we can either click and uncheck it, or we can do the three dots and tell it to remove. Confirm it. And now their schedule is gone from our calendar. If we go back to add calendar, now let's look at schools. I'm going to put a zip code in here for Louisville, Kentucky. And if you notice, it brings up two counties and then two independent schools. So let's click on Jefferson County. And then you get the option of different elementary schools, high schools. Click on whichever you're looking for, find your school, and it will add it to your calendar. Now, if we go back to add calendar, let's look at TV. Pick your time zone, mine is Eastern Standard. Pick a network, find your favorite show, click on it, and it will also add that to your Outlook calendar. There you go. And I can almost guarantee it's going to go down something like this. Hey, Melissa, can you come out to eat with us tonight? Ooh, hang on. Let me check my schedule. No. The premiere of This Is Us is on tonight. I cannot miss that. I just can't. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. What about tomorrow night? Mm -mm. The Green Bay Packers are playing tomorrow night. I can't miss that either. Hang on, give me just a second. Yeah, I'm busy through the 1st of December. Get back to me then. <laughs> okay, okay, in all seriousness. That really is how it's going to go down. But okay, I got to get serious now. <laughs> so just remember that once you put it into your Outlook calendar online, it will carry over to all of your devices that have that Outlook calendar connected to it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel before you go. And if you have any questions, feedback, or ideas for future content, then drop me a comment and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching. Bye.